Hi there, I'm Dear Jamal Lahey here at Port Credit Emporium. Port Credit Emporium specializing in so many, uh, so many beautiful stuff, especially for ladies. We have paintings for just about everyone, but we've got beautiful fashion designs and beautiful fashion uh, handbag fashion for. Uh, for anyone who's interested to look in looking beautiful and having the perfect accessory. So we've got a fashion designer. I call her a close friend, Nani Vijaya. Did I uh, uh, you know, pronounce your name proper, Nani? Yeah, I do. You do. <laughs> so you are uh, a newcomer to Canada. Now, this is what I really like. Newcomer to Canada, two years, and you have come up with these beautiful uh, handbags. I I'm going to show just one by one. Uh, but tell me, how did you come about, you know, uh, trying to uh, do something like this here and now owning a very thriving business. Okay. Uh, can I tell you what is my background before? Please do, Nani. I, this is what I love about <laughs> you. Okay. When I was, uh, before I'm moving to Canada, I was working in the pharmaceutical company. It is multinational company. Then when I move here, follow my husband and my kids here, then I do a lot of research. What is the fashion here in Canada? Then because of actually I love fashion, I love art, I love some things that you know su should be something different. Then uh, I do my research, my own research. Then I decided to design those back actually. Then I go back to Indonesia only for developing, developing those products. Then after that, I bring it into Canada because I'm living here. Yeah. And in two years, with after all your research, you found the uh, special, sp the special designs uh, Canadians would love from Indonesia. So tell me the Indonesian part. What kind of designs are they? Are these authentic? You know, uh, I know it is the cultural aspect, but is there a is there a way you go about finding the right ones for Canadians? Okay, right. I know that uh, we have a lot of culture and art from Indonesia, but I have to check here in Canada because of either they like it or not. I do like some research because before I know in Indonesia they have like batik, batik is hand painting and also woven, you know, but they have like special design. But from this material, before I bring this design to Canada, I do like some research for, for Canadians. I bring like a sample, what kind of mot batik motif they like it, what kind of color they like it, what kind of the model, the back they like it. So based on this research, then I produce, I make it, I, I design those back, you know. Then I bring the material is uh, from, you know, because in Indonesia, uh, every city, every island has different art, you know. Then I bring all of them from east to west, but I have to choose that going to be right or match with the Canadian needs. That's what I do. Yes, yes. and these are really beautiful. Which one did you bring for me? Uh, the, uh, the black one? Yeah. Oh, this one's this one is for me. Uh, Tell me, so uh, wh why did you choose this for me? Yes, because of number one, this one, the material is woven. It is coming from Sumba Island. I combined with uh, canvas and then this is genuine leather. And this one is perfect for you because it's quite sizes with you, you know. I call this bag is Fiori shopping bag, you know, oh. because you just, you can carry like this. And also there is like strap inside. You can put it like this and easy for you to use it. Yes. And then I know women usually like it with the small coin wallet inside. When you are traveling, you know, you can put like your coin wallet inside here. And it's going to be matches, oh, it's you know, cute. see. And it's absolutely cute. Yeah. Yes. And, and I think you really know my taste because I r really love big bags. I yeah. carry so much. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell me about this one. Um, now, this has uh, several compartments, I can see. Yes. Uh, uh, this one is batik combined with a croco cow leather. Uh, you can see it. Can I take out this one? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I put many compartments. That's my standard. Uh, here, beside of this bag, I put like a zipper here, and people can put something maybe cosmetic here and also in the middle compartment you can put everything especially your wallet every important things that you can put inside and here you can put also like maybe your cell phone you know then yeah I wow. give it also like small coin wallet inside yes, you inside. know it's gonna be you matches 
Beautiful. And, and what about these other ones? I see the smaller ones. Well, this is just phenomenal. Uh, but what about the red one over there, Nanny? Okay, it must be mass also with you, right? Exactly. It's just beautiful. So tell me about these stones here. Okay. This one, all the stones from Indonesia, but I'm not using all the stone. I use some stones. I also use like uh, for decoration. For this one, it's like the imitation. I make, I do combine just to make it more stand out. Because if stone, the color maybe will not be yellow, right? Then I put like the red stone combined with the black stone, but I use a little bit yellow here. It's like imitation just to make stand out. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, for two years you've been doing all this. And what, what, what keeps you going? I, I know you're, you're uh, a young mother, well, I should say, because the, the kids are still studying. So how do you manage? How do you cope up? And how do you, you know, keep going? What's keep you going? Okay, number one is because I have patience to do this uh, business. And the second one is I do really uh, happy because I have a good husband oh that's the main thing a lot, you know and then also uh, I'm I always telling to my kids that you know uh, we have to be like a teamwork you know so I have to support them because they have to go to the school and I have to monitor them but also they have to understand me also as a mom I I'm not always to do you know to carrying of them any time any day any any times but they have to understand also that I'm have my own hobbies you know and then so because of understanding of my family so that's why you know I can keep going and keep moving you know yes. and uh, well you take part in trade shows and you know you go all out promoting yeah. your stuff yeah. where have you taken part so far okay because of I'm just launched this product in Canada in February. I do a lot of show to show actually. My first show in Karasoga event, it is about in maybe in April or May. And the second one in Sunfest in London. And the third, I do like an own event together with my friend in Novotel Vaughan in June. And now it's the fourth, I join also CNE in Pavilion International, Boat 3620. And now here with you. Exactly. Yeah. Boat Credit is an uh, amazing place because they've got good customers, yeah. your loyal customers, because Karen and Tyler, uh, they are awesome people. So I, I'm sure you'll have a good time uh, having your products here. So now, uh, tell me about your future. What, what are you planning to do? What are the next uh, steps? Okay. Uh, because this is my first uh, action, then I have to expand, you know, then uh, uh, I have to redesign again because through the, to the market, I do a lot of research. By doing the show to show, I can more understand what is the Canadian need, what is, then I have to try to understand them and start to redevelop or readjust what they need. Then I will produce not will be not only just back, then maybe I will bring like a little bit jewelry that maybe can match with the Canadian also. That, that, that's really awesome. And uh, I was just trying to tell you maybe even shoe wear, you know, with all these kind of uh, newer designs, uh, you know, probably that would go as well. Now, uh, you s are you planning to have your own little boutique kind of thing where, you know, other than going from show to show where you could really concentrate on one place or are you not going to do it but uh, kind of s expand it uh, and be mobile? Are you trying to think of that? Well, uh, because this is first year, I have those plans maybe in the next three years because of I need more time. For example, like I said, this is the first year I go to show to show and the second I have to find out either it is correct or not. My product is really accepted, fully accepted by Canadian. And the third year I will try to looking for a good location to have like my own. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, and then, uh, Nanny, the other thing I was wanting to know is, um, like, I, I think you're a very courageous woman to come migrate to a newer country and start something. And, of course, hats off to your husband and, and your children for being very supportive of what you do. Now, uh, I do host my own fashion show, so I hope that you'll come and take part. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we have to help each other. I'm five years here, and you're just two years, so <laughs> I'm like an older sister. I could help you. <laughs> So what, what, what have you learned so far uh, in the Canadian market? Well, uh, because especially in Toronto, because I'm living in Toronto, right? And then I know they are really multicultural. And uh, because of multicultural, you know, they have a difference. 
uh, wants, different needs, you know. Then I know most of them like, especially because I launched a bit between maybe spring and summers, you know, they love bright color, you know, like turquoise, orange, and also blue, you know, and also red, you know, only little like brown or dark color. That's what I know right now. And in terms of the size, every people has different preference, you know. I cannot say that most of them like the big bag, you know, because some of them also like the small bag, you know, that, uh, uh, but most of them like the combination between the handcrafted material with the genuine leather. And the most important thing is they are really just realized that I can bring like very vinous, uh, really vinous, a uh, good quality uh, products. Yeah. And long lasting. I have a feeling that it's long lasting because most of them are handmade, so long lasting. Now, do you think, uh, I mean, you're just not catering to the Indonesian community, you're all going all Canadian, which is grand, because that's what I, I, I think that's great, uh, because you're doing something, bringing something unique uh, from your home country to Canada. And, and all the best, Nanny. I, I think you're an awesome lady, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you so much, uh, and I'm also really happy and really the honors to be with you today and so, yeah uh, like I said it's uh, Nani Vijaya you have to check her out on Facebook another place where I think you should really go in for social media promoting her beautiful stuff this beautiful beautiful hand woven and hand printed and handmade uh, handbags uh, from Indonesia Nani Vijaya you have to be uh, checking her out she is an up-and-coming designer here in Canada you can get her stuff here at Port Credit Emporium bye for now